Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to be running through a quick explanation of what behavior skills training, or BST, is. And then, I'll be telling you the steps of BST and how to use it effectively to teach your student whatever skill that you are targeting. Let's get started. First, what is BST? Behavior skills training is a model for teaching a predetermined target behavior. BST is usually chosen as the model to use when the targeted behavior is one which would benefit from role play. It's important that the skill can be practiced within the BST setting. For this reason, some skills are a bit harder to target using a BST model. However, with imagination and some acting ability, you can make this model fit any skill if needed. What are the steps of BST and how do we use it? BST has four steps, so let's jump right in. The first is modeling. In this step, you show your student what the behavior will look like when they complete it correctly. This way the student will know what is expected of them and then they can imitate it. For this step, you might need a partner or you can model individually depending on the skill at hand. For example, if the skill is brushing teeth, you could model simply getting up or walking over and beginning to brush your teeth. Alternatively, if you will be giving a verbal prompt to begin the activity, you might have a partner give the instruction, brush your teeth, before you complete your actions. Models can be completed live or be shown in a video. The second step is instructing. After you have shown the student what the behavior should look like, it's time to walk them through the steps of the behavior one by one. Essentially, this is the step in which you are teaching the behavior. The instruction step can also include things like when and where to use this skill. Continuing with our teeth brushing example, we would walk through each step from walking over to the sink, grabbing your toothbrush, all the way to spitting and rinsing your mouth. We would also instruct that teeth brushing should occur in the morning and in the evening before bed, and that usually we brush our teeth in the washroom and not in the kitchen. Depending on the skill level of your student or the difficulty of the behavior, you might get them to repeat the instructions as you give them or provide them with written instructions to follow. Whatever works for you and your student. The third step is rehearsal. Here, the student is practicing the behavior as it was just laid out for them in the second step. As the student completes the behavior, you as the teacher can correct if they don't quite have it yet or reinforce them if they are being successful. Try to rehearse as much as possible in the environment where the behavior will be occurring. For teeth brushing, this would be in the bathroom at home, but if you're completing this training elsewhere, such as in a therapy center, try and recreate as best you can. This is where the imagination comes in. For teeth brushing, it could be as simple as bringing a toothbrush and toothpaste from home and then rehearsing in the nearest washroom. Now the last step. Step four is feedback. With BST, we give feedback immediately following the rehearsal. Although you may have been correcting and reinforcing along the way, or you should have been, it's still important to give some concrete and descriptive feedback after when the student is focusing on you. This means good job is not adequate. Specific feedback is much more helpful, and positive feedback should always precede constructive feedback. In fact, I like to use the constructive sandwich method. That is, positive, constructive, positive feedback. It would sound like, I liked that you listened well and started brushing your teeth after just one instruction. Next time, you could try to remember and put the cap back on the toothpaste without a reminder. But you rinsed out the sink very well after you spit. Do you remember the four steps of BST? Model, instruct, rehearse, and feedback. Model what you want the behavior to look like instruct the steps of the behavior, rehearse in a natural environment, and give constructive feedback sandwich. Good luck!